Hey guys, you're watching Cran Clan. Welcome to our Ubisoft analysis E3. That was really, really messed up, but you get the point. So we're gonna jump right in. Now, the time on the Twitch thing was not accurate. Not at all accurate. We were we were 30 minutes. We didn't miss all 30 minutes actually. I think we we got in 15 minutes after. Yeah, but it said it started at 2:30 when it actually started, started at, at two. 2. So we got we checked it at 2:15 and it started. So we were literally like. So, South Park game was revealed, fractured, yeah. but whole. Spelled W-H-O-L-E. And but is spelled B-U-T. And then another game, For Honor. Basically chivalry. Basically chivalry. But Ubisoft. Uh, and then, I caught the end of this one. I think Claw was in the, Claw was elsewhere, but yes, I, I was elsewhere. watched the end of the Crew Wild Run. I'm not sure if it's a sequel or a... Expansion, expansion DLC or a DLC, but like the la the thing I saw in it is like the very end, and there were monster trucks, and I was like, "Wow, like that is something else right there. That isn't some new level stuff." Then another thing that Claw missed because he was elsewhere was the trials, awesome level max. I saw this afterwards. It's freaking. It's like the most amazing thing I've ever seen. It's like a tiger cat lynx thing with a bandana and a golden gun riding on top of a unicorn with a pink goatee that breathes fire. And it was the most phenomenal trailer I've ever seen in my life. And this is a, this is a DLC coming to Trials Fusion on July 14th. Yes. Which is flipping amazing. I'm crying right now from just, just mm, sheer from beauty, beauty in my mind. Okay. And then I think after that is... The Vision. Yeah, you came back. I came back for that. During this one. Uh, which was the Division Dark Zone gameplay, which we talked about in the Microsoft thing. Uh, basically, you can betray your friends and kill them for loot now. Yeah. In the middle of Manhattan, which is great. It's probably the best thing ever. What they did in the video was like they they found like the same crew from like the very first gameplay trailer, uh, and they were going into the Dark Zone. So they got loot. They teamed up with this other group. And then they killed the other group while they were about to get like their stuff evac back to the garage, or whatever, wherever the HQ is. So they got, they got their, they killed them. And then they get, they were like, okay, can you pick him up? And he shot the chick. He like disbanded from the group. He shot the girl. Then he shot the guy. And then he took their loot. So you can basically kill everyone for their loot, and you can become like this greedy jerk bag. And lose all your friends that way. Yeah. So Ubisoft has now made a way where you can lose your friends. It's fantastic. All right, moving on. Division, March 18, 2016. Do we believe this is going to be the last day? No. I don't know. I can't say because it looked, they, all of the their game gameplay. Has been delayed so much. All of their gameplay though hasn't been pre-alpha. It hasn't even been alpha, and it looks polished, but there's no story, as far as I can tell yet. Is there going to be a story, or is it just going to be an open world? We're not game? sure. It could we, be just that. Really which I mean, it would still be a good game that way too, because there's still a lot of stuff that you can do in it. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. 20, 2016, March eighteenth is supposed. What are you doing in that car? Supposedly, <laughs> when it'll be coming. And there's a beta that we'll probably be trying out on Xbox One for you guys. Hmm. Anno twenty two oh five. Basically, SimCity space. Pretty much, yeah. They, the trailer looked super epic, and then the gameplay did not, the which the is basically how RTS games are. Yeah. Because it wasn't even... The cinematics are always great. Yeah. And then, like, you're like, oh my gosh, this game looks so good. It's like, oh, you thought this is like an extra game. No, that's not how the game looks. Come on, let's be serious. It's like, oh. But, uh, so yeah, that was revealed November 3rd, 2015 is when that's coming. Just Dance 2016 was revealed. Who did they bring out onto the stage? Flippin'. It's written. I don't know. Jason... Derulo. Jason Derulo is who they brought out. One of the worst live Surprise performances live. I've <laughs> ever seen. His live flop performance. It was so bad. It's coming October, I think. Maybe think. this year. Yeah. We'll see. I think it's this year, October, though. So then, after that, we get Just Dance Unlimited Streaming Service, which is basically like Netflix with Just Dance games. But you, you pay money monthly and, for it. And it's much, and it's much less, like... Than what you would get on Netflix. Yeah, I, they were like, it's what the fans have been asking for. And no, it's not. Uh, then they revealed Rainbow Six Siege Terra Hunt gameplay. Yes, Terra Hunt, it's back. It looks beautiful. It looks awesome. It looks fun. It's basically uh, your team against a bunch of AI, 
and it just looks fun. Like a bunch we will of be chaos. playing it. Trust us. And it's going to be awesome. Yeah. We play Rainbow Six Siege. It's definitely coming October 13th. Chaos. I think is what it was. October 13th, yeah? Yeah. Yep, 2015. We'll be playing that. It's going to be awesome. Yes. Hope you guys enjoyed us for that. Rainbow Six Campaign was revealed. And it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It's totally beautiful. I think I cried. I, I think I saw him. But Just kidding. You know, Aish Tyler brought out the person who voiced the... the the person whose name apparently is Six. Yeah. Who runs the, the division. And I was like, yeah, this the, person the, named Six? Like, okay. I, I mean, if that was in the other games... She runs a Rainbow attention. Squad. Yeah. But anyways, so that was revealed. Beta. Rainbow Six Beta coming September 24th, 2015. Yes, September 24th. Probably we'll be covering that as well. Yes. Lots of stuff being covered. We got Trackmania Turbo gameplay. It looked like an arcade racing game it was like extremely intense and really fast i hope it's not 60 bucks i would pay 20 for it i would pay 20 i would even pay maybe 25 i wouldn't pay 30 or 40 no. or 50 or 60 for it um but if they add stuff i could see how it would become really good i think it's going to be one of those another one of those community map games where you can play community maps like trials cool. yeah but it just uh, like trials is 20 bucks it should be 20 bucks i don't know why it would be 60 yeah. Um, but yeah, so then we get AC Syndicate trailer, which was the uh, Eve EV trailer. Oh, I thought that showed that in uh, Sony. The AC Syndicate trailer, which was really cool, it was like it showed a uh, it showed a guy. I can't remember his first name is, but Fry. Jacob. Jacob Fry. He was like grappling, hooking off of like he jumped. He was on like the carriage thing, and the carriage got dipped into the thing, and he just grapple hooked the last moment pull himself back out yeah. basically it just showed you like a lot of the mechanics in the game it wasn't a gameplay trailer but it did show like a brotherhood type deal which, which I'm guessing it'd probably be called a gang in that time but either way looks really good yeah definitely so that's gonna be cool then we got Ghost Recon Wildlands I'm excited for and this game Imagine Dragons they yes their song uh, Friction Friction was in the was trailer was in the trailer and it was like breaking the fourth wall because it totally was on a radio in the trailer but it was really cool and so like you turn down the radio but basically this game is like amazing like you it's just like you're taking down a drug cartel open world any way you want to basically all like, different types of approaches ambush uh, stealth uh, long like range long range attack any from kind of the, thing from the sky yeah. from the ground from the sea however the heck you can kill the dude or you can leave it just steal the drugs and or blow up the drugs and yep. have his boss Kill take him. care of him. Yeah, so it's really cool that way. And it looks like it's going to be a really fun game. Another it's game we're definitely going to be covering on the, the channel. The most exciting thing that they revealed at yeah. uh, Ubisoft, for me at least, and uh, because Ghost Recon games have been pretty good, but I don't think they've ever been open world. No, and no, no, it looked so. really good, and it was the most unexpected thing at Ubisoft yeah. for me, and I'm super hyped to play it. Wow. I think it comes out 2016, yes? Uh, I don't know. They didn't give a release date. They didn't date. give a release date. But I would assume either that or 2017. I would think 2016, though. Yeah. It looked pretty good and pretty It dumb. looked pretty polished for the what they did. They Instead of doing gameplay and a separate cinematic, they mixed the two. Yeah. And I liked really that cool. idea. Yeah. It was cool. It, you guys should definitely go check it out. Ghost Recon Wildlands. It, it was... It's, it's great. Awesome. Anyways, that concludes... This analysis of the Ubisoft panel. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you agreed with what we said. If you don't, leave a comment. Let us know what you think about the Ubisoft panel. Oh. And just like Aiden Pierce, we're out. <laughs>